Customer is looking to get a bid to have their backyard deck replaced with a patio. Um, so, uh, obviously we've got a deck over here. And let's see if actually I'll come at it from a different, a different view here. All right, so this is the back, we're in the backyard here, and we've got a patio that's in place over, or a deck that's in place over here. Um, it, and we are, we went back and forth about what to do, whether we should sink it down, and we kind of settled on um, keeping it in a similar footprint uh, at the same height, but replacing it with stone and basically raising it on this end, and I'll show you that in a second. So um, the dimensions on this, hang on a second here, let me just take a look at my notes here. The dimensions are uh, da, 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 22 feet by, what, what in the world, where's my other dimension? 15 feet, there we go, <laughs> good grief, that was a struggle. 22 feet from here to the edge here and 15 feet front to back. So what we're going to do is we are going to make this right here, we're gonna square this off. Um, we're gonna move these steps over to the edge over here so um, so that way there's a little bit more planting space over here. Um, uh, but the thing that she doesn't like is that there's a walkway that just goes to the air conditioning unit. So we're just gonna put, uh, this is, there are four steps here. It's actually gonna be three steps now to get up to the correct height for grade. Um, but uh, we're gonna do three steps and it's just gonna end at the grass. So um, these walls right here are going to be sitting walls uh, across here. So we're basically gonna be enclosing this deck in on all sides with sitting walls. There's steps over here that we're just going to be getting rid of. So the, this, these steps over here are gonna be gone. We're not gonna have access to this area at this time anymore. Um, in the future, she may choose to put up, put some steps going up along here and then into the grassy area, but um, we're gonna enclose this area up here a little bit more, um, or actually completely. So that being said, um, this is our area of entryway. So we take out these steps right here, um, come in from over here, I'll get you a view from this side. All right, so um, we would build a wall across here and we continue it along here and back here. We would enclose the whole thing with a sitting wall and then this would just be a retaining wall. So the heights that we would have to deal with is uh, uh, 36, in it's 36 inches high from the deck to grade right now and then it would be 18 inch sitting wall on top of that. So 36 plus eight. And then the um, the wall right here, because grade goes uphill this way a little bit, this is 40, I wanna say 43 inches right here, and it goes down to grade over there. I have taken a uh, drawing of this with measurements. We are gonna to need to do a sketch up of this. Um, so um, as far as there should be very, very minimal dig out that's necessary. Um, obviously we'll have to take out the timbers and, and dig back that, but it's hollow underneath here. Um, I've also got some, uh, uh, it looks like a sump pump that comes through here, so we'll just bury that. Um, we should be able to get the 322 or ASV up here. It's kind of steep, but nothing that's, uh, that's crazy by any means. So what we would do is we'd uh, obviously tear this out. We'd, we'd put in um, crushed rock all back here as much as we can before we close up the, uh, close up the wall. Um, it's actually pretty straightforward. It's not... Um, it's not terribly difficult. It's not terribly difficult. I mean, it's not easy access, but it's not terribly difficult access. We'll have to remove a couple of these boulders right here. Entryway would be from see where my cube is. We'd come through here and up here and uh, up and across over there. So, um, yeah, obviously we've got a downspout, so we'll need to put a downspout in. Um, just because of the way that this is sloped, I might suggest we put in some plastic against the house. Um, we've got a, since this is, everything is coming this way downhill, we might consider just putting some plastic along here just to encourage it to come out this way and not encroach into the house at all. So, um, the, uh, the 22 feet that I have drawn in there is to the edge of the patio, to the edge of the patio. So the sitting wall would be outside of that. So, um, if you were to take uh, the measurement for the outside wall, it would actually be 23 and a half feet to where the wall would be um, across here. Um, and then coming across there and then this wall would just angle off and go back. That's, that's a little more ambiguous. If you want to change that footprint a little bit, she doesn't really care. 
So, um, all right, so that's the patio. I told her that if she decided to do that, then we would do a little bit of maintenance for her. Um, that little bit of maintenance would be um, pressure washing her caps. Um, pressure washing her caps over here. Just hit these caps up real quick, get them clean. And then when we bring in dirt to repair um, where we've driven, uh, back along the back side over here, uh, probably about a yard of dirt is needed because everything is sloped toward her, um, her uh, little wall that she has right here and it's causing problems. So we put in a little bit of, uh, a little bit of dirt here just to create a positive flow. Um, and then let's just take a real quick peek at her pillars down here. We didn't talk about this, but Luke came out and, and he was in at around $5,000 uh, to build this. Holy guacamole, it's destroyed. Um, so it's got a foundation already. We wouldn't be able to reuse the stone. It looks like it's dolomite and something. Dolomite and some Fond du Lac, huge joints. And I don't even know if that's dolomite. That's like some rustic dolomite. So. Um, it's about 30 inches tall, and these are about two by two, and it's got a dolomite cap on it. So it also has electrical going through it. Uh, if we do the back, we'll also bid on these pillars right here.